Today is the Cardiff University Brain Games. It's a collaboration between Cardiff University Neuroscience and the Wellcome Trust. It's a full day of activities. We've got 10 interactive brain games where the kids can learn all aspects about how the brain works. We're going to play the brain games. Brain games? Play the brain wars, the ghost hand. I played um, the fruit, fruity brain. Brain games. Brain games. And have you had fun? Yes, we have. Yes. This marks the end of Brain Awareness Week. It's a whole week of activities. This is the kind of climax of that. In the time leading up to this, we've been into primary schools, teaching kids about how the brain works, getting to do lots of fun things, turning the vision upside down, getting to play with jelly brains. I had a primary school, a primary school. Willow Brook. I had a primary school. Mum's learnt a few things as yeah. well. What was your favourite activity, Mum? I think the one where the ball lifts up and they come Oh yeah, the, the Star Wars brain trainer. What was your favourite? The same one. When you concentrate, you can move things. I was just saying to go up and up with your head. So the Brain Games has been held in the National Museum in Cardiff. It's a fantastic location. It's here right in the city centre, meaning that people that are doing their Sunday shopping can just pop in. Came a little while ago, we got here about 12 o'clock, and um, didn't stay for long, we didn't think. Popped down for lunch, and the kids said, we're going back up, are we? So yeah, we've been here for about three and a half hours now, and it's been brilliant, really good. What's been really amazing is the amount of participation from the university staff. We've got about 100 people who are involved. Today alone, we've got 65 volunteers all sporting these rather delicious t-shirts. It's been so busy from the minute we started. We've had so many kids and everyone's, everyone's really enjoyed it, had a lot of fun. They've been wanting to know how you remember things and how you can make your memory better. They've been looking at the riches of slides down the microscope and wanting to know what bit of the brain it is as well. In addition to the games, we've got lectures throughout the day telling us what the brain of dinosaurs were like. And we're going to try and work out what that might tell us about just how clever or not clever they were. So let's start with some serious questions here. How do you ask a dinosaur out to lunch? So the reason this started is we were approached by the Wellcome Trust as part of the Festival of Neuroscience that's happening in a couple of weeks' time. We were chosen as one of seven neuroscience hubs throughout the UK and that's the part of this public engagement event. We like the colour confusion. I like the flip shootout, which is really cool. That hand one over there. It's a game where you have to put that thing on your head. You have to look at the ball and the ball is going up and down. Everyone's asking lots of questions, like they're really interested to know what we're actually doing rather than just going on the buzzer. So yeah, it's been really good. Oh, it's been brilliant, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. We learned something or two ourselves yeah, as well, right. so it's been good. Give us a high five. Wow, brilliant.